what is going on guys it is your boy Dismo here and as always hope you guys are having yourselves a great day so in today's video what you guys are going to be watching is a deatomizer strike on the map genesis now i got this in a three-man party and this is my first nuke on the actual game of infinite warfare back in the beta i dropped about 20 25 nukes it was insane and lately i've been just trying to get myself a variant well i got the variant the other day and i was working on some videos and i had to go to work so i couldn't play that much but uh, this is actually my second game on last night and ended up getting it it was roughly like a three three and a half minute deatomizer strike because uh, there's a couple of times i was camping when i shouldn't have but uh since i was so close to getting my first deatomizer strike i wanted to make sure i got it so i did play it a little bit passive when i started getting up there and kills but uh overall relatively good nuke and i really enjoy the nb4 fallout i'll show my class setup right on screen right about now so the class setup is the nb4 fallout obviously with extended mags stock and suppressor this is probably the best class setup in my opinion then i'm running dexterity to reload faster ghost because everyone runs ghost and the kids that don't run ghosts are really dumb so i always run ghost just in case they get a uav on me and then scavenger obviously because you need more ammo and i was using marksman just so i can be able to see people at a farther range and now the rigs too i was using was the merc and i was using reactive armor and i believe i was using i don't know if i was using man at arms which gives you more ammo and it like makes it where you can run that is like normal speed with any weapon in the game or if i was using it in fusion i really really can't remember but uh overall this was a really really good nuke and i really love this map so for those of you who don't know this is a remake of the map strike zone which is a remake remake of the map dome from modern warfare 3 to me it doesn't look like dome at all and I really don't know why. I think it's just because the way the buildings are, it just reminds me of Strike Zone so much. And uh, Dome was just, in my opinion, a little bit bigger than Genesis and Strike Zone. So I'm really not entirely sure why they made it a little bit smaller. I don't know if it had to do with the movement system. But overall, I really like this map. It's funny though, you can spawn in, and the way they have the spawn set up, you can literally spawn in, turn to the left or right, depending on if you're at A flag or C flag, and literally run to the enemy spawn and pick up a quad feed. I got a couple quad feeds for another video that I'm actually working on. It's going to be a long project, but uh, I get a lot of my quad feeds and uh, five mans and just clips and stuff on this map. So definitely drop a like on today's video. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you guys as many Deatomizer Strikes as I possibly can. Uh, whenever I'm not working on videos, I'm usually going for gameplays, obviously. Uh, probably going to work on a little bit of the video today, and then I'm going to try to pick you guys up for a couple more gameplays, because uh, this is what I base my channel around. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please drop a like on it. Comment in the comment section below if you guys have a nuke variant yet, and if you guys have gotten a Deatomizer Strike. Because uh, it really, they really need to fix the salvage bonus on this game because it's just so awful. You get like no salvage, you get like nothing for the amount of time it takes to put this in. So uh, yeah, comment in the comment section below if you got either one of those or if you're just struggling to get salvage. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.